And we begin with the tragic and deadly dust storm that caused a massive pileup on downstate I-55 today. Six people are confirmed dead, dozens of others injured. Let's check in now with Nate Rogers, who's live in Montgomery County with the latest. Nate. Yeah, that's right, um, Don and Corey. Folks here in Divernon say they've seen dust storms before, but nothing to this magnitude. Right now, some 10 hours later, tow trucks are still removing those vehicles involved from I-55 to this location that you see behind me. Many of the vehicles that we see here mangled, um, burned, many of them beyond recognition. My heart goes out to their to the families. This was a scene along I-55 about 20 miles south of Springfield. Vehicles off into a ditch and smoking. All as dust filled the air. Driver Nathan Cormier luckily avoiding the mess. The guy in front of me, he saw the truck coming up. We got to start going to the storm. He went to the right to avoid the truck. I went to the left to avoid the truck. Cars behind me did not. Officials say high winds blew dirt from nearby farm fields across the highway, leading to poor visibility. Multiple vehicles crashed in the north and southbound lanes within a two mile stretch just before 11 a.m. So we had uh, uh, vehicle fires to extinguish. We had to search every vehicle, whether they were involved in the accident or just pulled over to check for uh, for injuries. Six people killed, more than 30 victims transported to hospitals. Also between 40 and 60 vehicles involved, along with 20 semis, two of which caught fire. I've seen them before, but nothing like today is just Today was like the worst day ever. Wesley White was heading to a funeral at the time of the dust storm. Fortunately, he took the back roads. For several hours, crews towed vehicles involved to a local service station as investigators assessed the damage. Some vehicles charred, others with their hazard lights still blinking hours later. Just unbelievable. You know, you see some of the cars over there, just how bad it was. Just pray for the families. Now, the identities of those killed in the crash have not yet been released. The 30 or so folks hospitalized, their injuries range from minor to life-threatening. Officials say those victims are between the ages of 2 years old and 80 years old. Um, right now, we're told that about at least 10 miles of I-55, the area where this crash occurred, um, should be closed or expected to be closed through tomorrow afternoon. We're live in Divernon, Nate Rogers, Fox 32, Chicago.